Cloudcast Media presents from the massive studios in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, this is Aaron Delp, here to talk to you a little bit about Linux containers. Now, in order to talk about that, we probably need to set some background in virtual machines and compare and contrast with containers. So what do we have when we have virtual machines today? If you want to have multiple applications, you'll actually have multiple virtual machines, each running their own operating system. So what we have here is hypervisor level isolation and an OS per application. Now, an advantage of this is you can run different operating systems here, of course, which in case your application supports different operating systems. But it also has the overhead of multiple OSs. Now, if you can compare and contrast that to containers, now what are containers? Well, first of all, it's a Linux feature that was put into the kernel in version 2.6.24. And what we actually have here is we just have one operating system. And the applications are actually isolated within the operating system. So how do we achieve that? Well, some, some features here that really revolve around C groups. So, it creates a, its own process space, it, it, can, it creates its own network space, and then it does namespace isolation as well. So that in the end it creates a user container object. And each of these applications therefore are isolated from each other and can run in a slightly different way. And, and uh, for the people that are you know, older out there, it's really the, the idea of logical partitions from mainframe days or, or AS400s or RISC 6000 days. So, this is not a new concept at all. It is just something that was put into the Linux kernel and really a new way to partition things out and minimize that overhead of the operating system. But again, one drawback being is, of course, it has to be a Linux-based application. Thank you.